Welcome back to Nanny's Italian Kitchen. This is Hetty, and I'm going to be showing you how to make shrimp scampi today. Before we start the video, I would like to thank all my followers. You've been tremendous. I can't believe how many views I've got on my videos. What I'm going to be showing you today is shrimp scampi. Now, shrimp scampi, you can have a number of ways. You can put it with spaghetti, you can put it with rice, you can as a main dish with a side salad and some garlic bread, however you want it. It's a very simple dish, but it's delicious. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned to you before about my family. Uh, my grandfather on my mother's side had a fish market, which was called Taco's Fish Market. As such, all of the people that were in the family were referred to as the fishes. Tommy Fish, Mikey Fish, Petey Fish, hence the fishes. Anyway, before we start showing you how to make the scampi, I'm going to show you how to clean the shrimp. Now, you don't have to clean the shrimp if you don't want to. If you go to a fish market or any place where they sell uh, the shrimp loose, you can request that they clean it. If they don't, then this is how you clean the shrimp. Okay, so I have two pounds of jumbo shrimp. That's 16 to 20 shrimp per pound. You can get them larger, you can get them smaller, whatever you want to do. You have to cut the shrimp down the back, remove the shell, and in the middle, there's a black line. You have to remove that because that is what is the shrimp's poop. Nobody wants to eat poop. So once again, you take the shells off. Now you can leave the tail shell on if you want. Some people leave it on because they eat it with the finger, what have you, but I like to remove it. And so there you have, cut it down the back, remove the poop. Okay? So what goes in the scampi, I usually put about four or five garlic cloves. There's a few small ones in here. So I have uh, one or two extra. Parsley, about a half a cup. I have breadcrumbs, about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons. A teaspoon of paprika, a half of a lemon, and a half, of, uh, a, half a stick of butter. So I've showed you before, but I'll show you again how you clean or the, the garlic cloves. You have to smash it down and the paper comes off very easily. So I'm gonna show you how to make the scampi, but first I'll have to take a sip of my wine. I have about a quarter cup of oil here. You can use whatever kind of oil you, you want. Olive, canola, vegetable. Probably olive oil is the best if you're Italian, but what have you. So there's a quarter cup of oil, and now there's a half a stick of butter. I have the heat on medium. I had it on high to heat it up, but now I have it on medium. So you're going to melt the butter. Mm, it's already starting to smell good. Wait till I put the garlic in. Okay, so I'm putting the garlic in, which is four, five, five, six cloves, depending on the size, finely chopped. And the parsley, which is a good, a good amount, half a cup. I don't usually measure. I'm doing, I'm measuring this because of the, uh, the video, but when I cook, I don't measure. Most Italians don't. My mother never measured. When I had to make my cookbook, it was very difficult for me because I didn't know how much to write down in the recipe. So I had to make the stuff and then figure out how much went into everything. Okay, so the garlic is just about starting to brown, like a minute or so. Okay. Mmm, does that smell great? Absolutely. Mm. Too bad you don't like shrimp. Okay, so I have my shrimp here, and I'm going to put it in. 
It's already been washed and cleaned. Okay. So you let this cook for about five minutes until the shrimp are totally pink, but not cooked through. That's if you want to put it in the oven. I put it, after I cook it for five minutes, I put it in the oven for another five minutes. You don't have to put it in the oven if you don't want to. You could just cook it for an additional couple of minutes so uh, it cooks thoroughly. I'm raising the heat a little bit. Okay, I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes, and when we come back, I'll, t I'll show you what I do. Okay, so the shrimp has been cooking for about five minutes. As you can see, they're all pink. What I'm going to do now is squeeze a half a lemon in there. What's that with the hand? Covering for pits? Yes, of course. I know. I'm giving him a little tip just to make sure you know what you're doing. All right. Well, yeah, I put my hand there so if the pit comes out, whoop, just like that, it doesn't go into your dish. Okay, so that's enough. A half a lemon. What I do, shut it off. Now, if you're going to not put it in the oven, you should cook it for another couple of minutes. If you are going to put it in the oven, then you got to sprinkle it with paprika. It's about a teaspoon of paprika. Not that much. I mean, just a little sprinkling. I love the taste of the paprika on the shrimp. And about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of breadcrumb. Not a lot. I just like a little sprinkling. Okay, so at this point, you either have cooked it longer and not putting it in the oven, but if you're going to put it in the oven, you would put it in for about five to seven minutes at, I would say, 350 degrees. That's what it looks like. I mean, God, is that not beautiful or what? Looks very nice. Look at that. And taste, it's so flavorful. You could just, like I said, have it with spaghetti, have it with rice, garlic bread and a salad, and you're in heaven. Bon appetit. And remember, when you take it out, use, use a, what do you call them? Oven Pants. mitten. Oven mitten, you got it. Okay, put this in. And I'm going to put the timer on. And then it'll be done. And I'll show you what it looks like in this dish. And then we're going to eat. My whole family's here. If you can't hear the noise, you'll hear it soon. I put it in a bowl so it looks really, really pretty. And I have mine left out so I can taste it. And you don't need a knife with this here. Forget about a knife. Or you could just pop them in your mouth, whatever. But... Mmm, delicious. They are so delicious. I taste all the garlic. If you haven't figured it out by now, I can't cook without garlic. So, here you go. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the scampi. Bon appetit. And uh, what was I t talking about before? I was talking about fish. Wasn't I talking about fish? About my family and how much they like fish? Well, hi Luke. Uh, <laughs> my grandson. Uh, this is what I have. That is it. Start again. That was terrible. Delete, delete that. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Hetty from Nanny's Italian Kitchen. Welcome you in, welcome, that was a blooper. Do it again. <laughs> yes, my all my uncles and they were Petey called Fish. Petey Fish, Mikey Fish, Jerry Fish. They were, we were known as the fishes. And my uncle Petey was very good friends. You always had some sort of nickname. In Italy, I mean in Italy, in an Italian's neighborhood, you always had Nicknames like 
the fishes, of course, and there was Albert Cheesecake. My uncle was Joe Balls. There was uh, Lizzie Golf Ball. Oh, yeah, Golf Ball Lizzie. I mean, because she had boobies like golf balls. I, yeah, I know. But, but when she got older, they were like melons. I don't know what happened to them. They, they went from golf balls to honeydews. <laughs> All right, well, to the next scene. Here we go. You make a funny.